Hey. In this video, I'm gonna take Yoga Basics with Catlin Reese. And if you're new to Roman to Yoga, I'm Casey. You can find Catlin's class at Jane's House of Wellbeing. After you purchase the class, you'll receive an email. Click on the link and the video will populate. First, I'm gonna comment on production value followed by content. For production value, audio, visual, and lighting. For audio, Catlin right now is in a yoga class and she's got students in her classroom. So throughout this class, she'll be up walking around making adjustments or cues. I would recommend something like the Rode Wireless Go microphone. You can plug it into your camera and then you'll get crispy, yummy audio. For visual, I would personally get closer to the camera, at least at the beginning of class. And finally, lighting. I would place your camera behind a window or near a window. That way you get a nice, crispy, clear image. Jane's house just started doing recorded videos, so I'm excited to see what's to come for their studio. Hello. So spoil alert, Catelyn hit all three boxes. She set an intention, she used vinyasa krama, and she cued with direct action. Class is an hour and 15 minutes, and I'm guessing you don't want me to break down every single move. I just want to keep a high level overview of the comments. The reason why I like having an intention set is it allows me to draw my awareness in and I can focus my attention on the right here and the right now. The vinyasa krama. What do I mean by vinyasa krama? It's an intelligent way of sequencing a yoga class. If you noticed, we were on the back and it became easier, a little bit more challenging when she brought us up into bridge, onto hands and knees. For the class, she had us do a, a twisting pose. And then she brought us back down onto the belly and finally onto the back. Yes, she used vinyasa krama and most importantly, she cued by using direct action. Okay, Casey, what is direct action? I don't know what you mean. She's not using metaphors in her language. She didn't say, and now come into butterfly pose. Well, what is butterfly pose? Not every student is going to know every pose name. So when you describe how to get into the posture, it levels the playing field for everybody. So Casey, show me an example of direct action. Okay. So press into all four corners of your feet as you lower your knees towards the mat. Lay down onto your back. Clasp your hands up overhead. Draw your low belly in and up. Draw your chin down and back. You don't, you can listen to Catelyn's cues as opposed to turning around and looking at your neighbor and not knowing all of the pose names. Check, check, check. Great job, Catelyn. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's review. I'm a newer yoga teacher, so this helps me learn too. Have an awesome day and let me know what kind of video that you would like to see. Bye.